Rest for the Galaxy is one of my favorite games. I really love it. I played it dozens of times online uh, with the game. Uh, I looked for another games like this, but I didn't find it. Uh, and then a few months ago, uh, there were a rumor that Ignacy Trevicek, author of uh, Stronghold, is doing. Uh, card game based in his uh, Niroshima uh, world which you can know from Niroshima hacks or RPGs uh, and it was all my friends who playtested it said that it's like Race for the Galaxy Ignacy told me that it will be a Race for the Galaxy killer well is it really? let's find out Fifty First State is a card game, so of course we've got a deck of cards with a really nice graphic, really thematic about post-apocalyptic world uh, made by uh, some Polish artists. I re really like uh, the artwork in the game. We've got uh, resource tokens uh, like guns, junk, fuel, some contact uh, tokens, workers, and resource. Uh, building resources, uh, victory points, and some faction tokens. They are not that not, not that important. And of course, four factions. Uh, each player will play as one of those factions uh, and try to be the biggest, the best faction there is <laughs> by gathering fame, by gathering victory points. Each faction comes with three basic contact cards and a base card. Uh, for each faction those cards are a little bit different and because of that each faction plays a little bit different differently. So we've got Mutants, Union, we've got uh, New York, we've got Appalachian Federation and Merchant Guild. Let's play as Merchant Guild for now. Uh, we put our base card, our three contact cards at the middle of the table. And we begin a, ga a game by drafting by lookout phase. We try to gather information about locations we can conquer or incorporate into our state. So we put uh, five cards, and then each player will draft those cards from the middle of the table. Then we will draw another card, etc., etc., until each player will take two cards from the middle of the table and one card from the deck. Uh, then we have a production phase. Uh, in this phase, our base card will produce always free workers and some resource. Each faction will produce different resources. And our locations, if we incorporate them, will produce some resources. Uh, those with such an icon means that this is a production location and it will produce one fuel. Like, for example, Police station nodes. Not it's not a production location. It's it's an action. Oh, here it is. A school will produce one worker. So after production phase, each player will uh, uh, do one action uh, during uh, their turn, and another one, and another until everyone passes. So, for example, what we can do. Uh, as our actions. Uh, well, we can incorporate such a uh, location to our state. It will bring us fame, it will give us uh, some victory points, but to do this we have to uh, join this location by rows or etc. etc. For example, uh, merchant guilds have to use two uh, junk tokens and they the, then they can incorporate a location that is distant uh, one or two units away. Each card has a distance here. Uh, it's three is the maximum distance. So with this card, I cannot incorporate uh, this building. But for example, I have those two tokens. I can spend them. Use my card. It's one per turn, and incorporate incorporate school to my state. If it's a production uh, location, it gives me one resource uh, when I incorporate it, and during production phase it will give me that resource. 
Well, we can of course also conquer such a location. Uh, at the top of the card there's a red bar uh, which tells me what will I get if I will conquer it, this. And to conquer I have to use a red contact card. I have to spend one gun to conquer police station. It will give me three guns and one point, but not immediately. I have to put it under my base card and then in the next production phase I can discard this card to take those resources. Uh, I can also make a deal uh, with uh, such a location. Uh, for example, there's an oil merchant. If I conquer him he will give me a lot of fuel and a card. But, if I w but it's a one-time uh, deal. If I make a deal with him he will give me one fuel each round. So I have to spend one fuel to make a deal with uh, any location. I put this card and then during the production phase it will give me uh, one fuel every round. There is a catch. I cannot have more than three cards here under my base card. So I have to be very careful uh, not to uh, make too many deals because I ha I'll, then I will have to discard some deals I already have. There are also uh, one time use contact cards I can discard it and just to make a deal with uh, location. There are leaders that I can put as my leader. Uh, it will give me uh, victory points uh, after some uh, action I will do. Uh, of course, mainly there are location, there are production locations. Uh, if a location has a, such an uh, icon, then uh, other players can visit it by sending their workers to my location. Then I will, I can use this worker as mine. And there are action locations, which cannot be uh, used by other players, but I can send workers there to do what's basically here. It means I can uh, spend two building resources to get two victory points. I will send a worker if I have building resources, let's say I had it, uh, then I will earn two victory points. But those locations can't uh, give me points uh, throughout the game. They can only give me three tokens. So. If I will do another one and another one, basically this location is worthless for me because I can't uh, use this action anymore. It just gives me uh, one victory point uh, for being in my state, but I can uh, redevelop it into another location. I have to spend one building resource and then I can redevelop redevelop it into another card. Uh, basically I can redevelop it into any other card that has at least one icon common. So it's this building I can uh, exchange for this location. Those victory points I had on these locations will uh, still be mine. And that's it. I can also exchange leaders but I have to kill current riddle leader. Uh, after each player will do their actions in a, clock, uh, in a clockwise order, uh, uh, everyone passes, then we count points. Each location is uh, and leader is worth one victory point. Of course we have uh, tokens for redeveloping or changing leaders, we also get additional victory points. And in this way we play until someone uh, has 30 points. At the back of the box there is a scoring track, uh, here uh, 30, until someone reaches 30 points. Of course there are some other rules, but they are not that important, basically it's, it's how the game is played. What I think about first, 51st State, I really like it. It's a fun game, it's something like Race for the, for the Galaxy, but it's not Race for the Galaxy killer, killer for me. It's a little bit more tactical, less strategic than 
than, than race, but uh, of course there is a lot of strategies, neat combos we can do with our locations. Uh, there are a few drawbacks with the game. Uh, first of all, the rule, the rule book. It's okay. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's a little bit chaotic. I would like to see more examples of the play, more examples for the icons. There are a lot of icons like in race <laughs> in the 51st state. It's okay, but probably you have to read it twice and probably once more after you play to be sure you uh, done everything okay. And there is a slight production error in uh, tokens. There are missing to contact tokens of uh, certain values. It's not that big of a deal, but well, uh, it can be a problem for someone. Uh, we used uh, wooden discs as a replacement for those tokens. And there are too few of those tokens. Probably you will uh, sometimes have to use another talks from other, another games or some pennies to remember that you have uh, certain tokens and the uh, gameplay length uh, with four players our first game was about two hours it's a little bit too long for such a, such a card game but it didn't drag that much I liked it uh, it was really fun and if you like like race, if you like card games, strategic card games, I would really recommend this one. It will debut in about two weeks uh, in uh, the Spiel in Essen. I really recommend it. Uh, it's an, another fun game by Ignacy Trzewiczek. So go and buy it. Take care. Bye.